Can you align objects in Embert? Of course you can! Keep watching and I'll show you how. Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and today we are talking again about alignment and aligning objects and why you need to remember to use them. Now I did a video in Hatch and it was requested in the OML Embroidery University group that I sh quickly show you guys how to do this in Embird. Most uh, embroidery software will have alignment tools. In Ember, they're just a little more difficult to find, but that's okay. It makes sense where they are. So let's start off. We need a couple of objects to work with. So let's go. We're going to do a filled object. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to put one node down, and then I'm going to go to the shape. And what should we do? Just a rectangle? Sure doesn't it doesn't actually matter what we do let's see doesn't matter we'll do one long and one short that seemed to work really well so two elements right click two elements and generate it and then let's right click and we are going to duplicate right down there and then all I'm gonna do is make it a bit smaller so we can see the alignment going on so for this one, let's generate stitches and I'm going to make it a different color. It, oh, I got to drag it down. I forget my embered rhythm there. So now we have to select two. And I kept looking up here going, okay, where is it? Where is it? But it makes sense. What we want to do is transform this into alignment. So anything that you're transforming is right here. And what you want to do, it's Control Alt T is the transformation window and bring that up. And this cute little window pops up and uh, right here. Do you see them right here? We've got everything we need if we wanted to change stuff or change the angle. But what we're after is right here. Zoom right in so you guys can see the symbols. You can see it's a square and a diamond with a line so that's alignment and then this one is the spacing so yes absolutely uh embered has it all and they have a lot of options so let's uh what should we do first align top and then you have to click apply Whoop, there we go we can align middle but that would be the same let's see we align this way they're just going to cover over each other but that works that works how about this way well it's the same thing how about bottom it's just going to move down so we have everything that we need in here and i think it's fantastic so let's do another one let's uh i guess right click and duplicate and we're going to make this one another color pick anything how about pumpkin orange because why not and uh, I'll move them like this, draw a bounding box around them, and we're going to go to the Transform window, Control-Alt-T is what we want. I'll try to remember that for next time. And we're going to go to our spacing. So evenly space up and down, uh, in between. Let's see, there's so many options. This is, once you find all of the tools inside Embered, it makes it a whole lot easier to do. So we kind of have spacing for three or more objects. That's actually really nice that they say that. So you remember, if you only have two, you won't be able to use this. So let's uh, let's try this one and apply. And it, you saw it move. We, we've got this now that we can do all these different things in Embered as well. So why don't we align, we've done the spacing, so why don't we align these at the top and close this out and look how perfect that is. Isn't that fantastic? So try to remember to use the alignment tools and the spacing tools. It will save you a ton of time. You can see here that I don't have a grid up and I don't have guidelines and I'm not worrying about anything. Um, 
you know, how, where it's situated. Let the software, let the embroidery software work for you. So remember the, let's select them. Remember it's right here, transformation window, control alt T. That's the shortcut of the day that you need to remember. Control alt T, fantastic. So hopefully uh, this helped you guys out learn where the transformation tools are, the align and the spacing and make sure you use them in Ember. Honestly, it'll save you a ton of time. So thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.